Okay, this is testing. I'm back with my old headset. Back with my old microphone. And I'm going to be returning the Logitech Pro X to Amazon for a refund. Bummer. But you have spoken, several of you. Of course, I don't have a ton of people, but uh, I respect the opinion, and I agree that the audio was just uh, not good. So, did I say bummer? I think I did. Gonna have a hell of a time packing that into the box. It, it was kind of, I, I guess it was a good packing or a good box that they had, you know, for, and I'll have to try to figure that out, so. Anyway, I do thank you for your input and for bearing with me for the uh, last couple of days as I made attempts to get the Logitech headset working. Well, I am back. This is part two. I boxed up the um, can't think of the name now of it for the company Logitech headset and I'm back to this oh about $35 uh, Sadie's headset that uh, I've had for a long time and has worked great for me but I just wanted to play with some state-of-the-art hardware and whatever and this of course is actually I think I got this uh, for free I don't think I even had to purchase it I think that was back when I was doing reviews and I was sent I believe the uh, headset so everybody agreed that the audio was just not good and by the way if you watch my videos you know before I purchased it I saw quite a few reviews on Amazon where they talked about the uh, microphone was no good actually I'm not sure if it was the microphone or the software you know, anyway so I guess I will just stick with this what I thought about doing for effect, but I'm too lazy, I was going to stack all the microphones that I have purchased here, along with some of the uh, amplifiers and that type of stuff. The, the desk would have been just, I have a closet full of microphones and sound cards and all types of stuff. So, um, So we're back to using the old microphone. Wanted to show you this. Um, I some I usually order stuff from Amazon because I like their policy. I like the speed, their uh, policy of refunds, and all that type of stuff. Because uh, you know, I just to return this, I clicked answered a couple questions and uh, they had me print out a barcode to put inside the box and tomorrow the next day uh, UPS will show up won't cost me anything they'll just take the box they'll slap a label on it and they tell you that uh, Amazon not new Amazon tells you that uh, you know when they receive the product uh, they'll issue you a refund I think every time as soon as the UPS driver scans it, 
or maybe a couple hours later, uh, the money goes into my bank or whatever, whatever instructions I gave to them. In this case, it was uh, put the money into my my credit card that I have with them, take off that amount from the credit card. What I wanted to show you here, because I just happened to go look at this uh, keyboard, and I'm very happy with my Logitech G910, but I had to look at the keyboard. And then one of the sellers was Newegg, and I have ordered stuff from Newegg. Remember, uh, I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. Well, I'm in Texas. Note, tax collection begins on October 1st in Texas. Bummer. Um, sometimes I purchase something outside of Texas in order to avoid the sales tax. I mean, not for small items, but a bigger purchase. And uh, on the other hand, I'm not sure that I'm not sure I object to the states collecting say because everything is going, you know, uh, Amazon and that type of stuff. I'm I'm not sure it's you know it's probably maybe a good thing that states are collecting tax, but it was kind of nice. I think where I've run into it is in cameras. I've purchased some cameras that are pretty expensive. And uh, amateur radio equipment. You know, handy talkies that are $400, $500 or whatever. With Amazon, it's kind of, I'm not sure how it works out exactly. Sometimes when I order something from Amazon, sales tax is added, and then sometimes sales tax isn't added. I'm guessing that if the product is in the warehouse here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, I'm guessing that they charge the sales tax. I'm guessing if it's shipped from outside the state that you don't pay sales tax, except sometimes I think it depends on the state. So anyway, uh, yesterday's See which one was it? One was it yesterday? I guess that was the one yesterday. No, oh, I can't remember. Anyway, okay. Wanted to update you, and I hope that this audio is. I hope this doesn't now, you know, take revenge. I hope the uh, Sadie's doesn't decide to get even with me for lusting after another type of uh, headset. Really, and I, pay, I really pay no attention at all to the, it's the microphone that I'm interested in. Uh, this works, but I'm still sad that that didn't work. I thought it was a great idea being able to adjust so much for the microphone, but it didn't work. And I should have known because of the reviews. Of course, you saw, if you were watching that video, you saw I looked at the, re I showed the reviews and Five star, five star, five star, one star. Microphone doesn't work. Five star, five star, five star. You know, two stars. Microphone doesn't work. So I need really to uh, purchase a new office chair. Uh, 
this one was, a, I think, a $50 one or $60 one. And I got it as sort of a, an emergency backup chair. I, uh, I noticed I need to order another. Real, this thing is, I already have poor circulation to my legs. I mean, really bad. You're not going to see any videos of my uh, legs or feet. I don't want you to see them. Um, unless it's unless I make a mistake somehow. Uh, this chair, for one thing, I don't need blood circulation. That both of the the arms here are pushing in big time into my thighs. I have to be cutting off some blood flow to the. Uh, let me pull this up so I can see what you're seeing. By the way. Where is the, here it is. Um, both of these aren't, they're cutting into my thighs, so they've got to be cutting, and I sit here all day long. I'm either in this chair or in bed taking a nap. That's about it. So, I um, guess it's time to take my nighttime medication. And if I can't find something to watch on, let's see, CBS, T CBS Live TV or on Amazon or Netflix or Hulu, then I'll probably end up taking a nap. Anyway, thank you very much for all of you who made a comment. Uh, I, I do appreciate it because, like I've told you repeatedly in many videos, my hearing is really bad. And it's hard to explain because if somebody tells you I'm hard of hearing, you think you have to talk loud. Oh, and that's a problem, and that's not my problem. You know, one is I have a constant sound of uh, crickets going 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Some people describe it as, you know, something different than crickets. Mine sounds like a crickets. Uh, and then I have hearing loss in each ear, and it's different. That really messes things up, like for public address systems and that type of stuff. I can't, if I'm at a uh, airport or casino or wherever I am, or a hospital when I was working in the hospital, if, if something came over the public address system because of the hearing difference, I usually could not hear it. And when I was making uh, rounds in the hospital, I worked hospital security for 30 years, over 30 years. If I were in a stairwell, I would not be able to hear the walkie-talkie because of the vibrate, you know, the sound going out. It would be total garbage. No way. So when I've made my rounds, I uh, I didn't try to avoid the stairwells because I had to, needed to check stairwells. But I was always, you know, if it's going to be, if a communication, I'm expecting one to come in or whatever, I, you know, I'd be out of the, so anyway, being able to detect, now I could hear the popping sound occasionally. I thought because I, there for a while, because I had the uh, microphone cable plugged into the USB port right next to the uh, Wi-Fi port, or not the Wi-Fi port, the uh, cable, uh, network cable. Thought maybe that I, I mean I tried everything so but uh, anyway I, I do appreciate the comments because although I could hear that popping and I could hear some of the dropping out some of the you know dropping out there's a lot I could not hear which I don't know what I really couldn't hear I've had tons of speakers over the years you know and I had a relative who it was really into music, who bought me some really expensive speakers because he was really into audio. And uh, I don't need expensive uh, 
because I'm losing the tonal, you know, I'm not sure exactly what I am losing. I've never had my hearing tested. Uh, so I, I, the school, I think it was like in the second and third grade, each year the school sent home a printout that showed, you know, actually for that time without computers the way we have, you know, computers now and stuff was really remarkable that the school had that they had this and it showed and gave the numbers or whatever my parents never and then after that I didn't I never went to a school that tested out and I just uh, basically forgot I just didn't think about now as soon as I was about the same age and I saw that I was with my buddies and I couldn't read street signs and stuff I told my parents I need glasses they got me glasses. They never did anything about the hearing problem. But I can't blame them because when I became an adult and I had health insurance and I had health insurance my entire life, um, I never had my hearing tested. And I get those things, I'm sure we all here in the United States get, get these letters that, uh, hey, come to such and such a uh, office and we will test your hearing. They want to say you uh, hearing aids and for free, you know, come in, we'll uh, test your hear. I never, I never, never did it. And then too, what I've mentioned here before someplace is uh, from the time I was in grade school through high school, I intended to go into the army and, uh, spend 20 years, and then retire. And as soon as I graduated from a military high school, where I, you know, was, uh, I went down to enlist, and they wouldn't take me because I was way underweight. And then a couple years later, um, I had to go for my selective service physical. Y'all, everybody, all men had to go at a certain age for their selective service physical and uh, 200 of us showed up and well the doctor immediately there's 200 of us and the doctor immediately comes over and asks me have you been in the hospital have you been sick and because I was so skinny out of 200 I was the one, that's the only one he came over and, you know, he spent the rest of the time dealing with football players with bad knees or whatever. Anyway, I got a, <clears throat> I got a notice uh, that I was 1A, so I went down to enlist and I told the recruiter, you know, I filled out the paperwork, started the paperwork or whatever, and I told the recruiter, I'm pissed. I wanted to make a career. I still want to make a career out of the military, but I just, you know, but I was rejected because of weight, you know, and he said, oh. And uh, so then he checked, you know, he called the medical center and they had forgotten, they forgot to look at height and weight, uh, you know, height and weight. And then, the, so, so I got another, I had my 1A card was gone and I got one that was 1Y. Uh, means we don't want you. But you know what, until, I'm not sure when, at some point, I realized that, uh, and that wasn't immediately after, you know, that wasn't when I, I realized that, hey, if, if I had, and I very easily could have been, if they hadn't noticed the weight, I would have, they'd have said, okay, you're in the army now, and put me on a bus, and sent me to, uh, basic training place and then I guess they would do a week or two weeks of all kinds of testing they would have immediately found that I had very bad hearing and that would have been the end of me and they would have, you know and that would have been embarrassing because I'm sure my father would have bragged to his friends you know hey my son enlisted he's in the army and then I would have showed up you know back home so anyway thank you very much for watching